Good day, everyone. Today, I'll be talking about variables, dependent, independent, and control, as well as groups, experimental group, and control group. Variables are things you measure, control, and manipulate. Today, let's talk about independent variable, dependent variable, and control variable. Independent variable is the cause or is a variable that is manipulated in order to see its effect on the dependent variable. Dependent variable is the effect or the variable that is tested and measured. On the other hand, control variable is a variable that is constant and does not change during the study. Let's have example one. Katiana wanted to figure out what type of liquid worked best for growing beans. She watered one with Coca-Cola, one with lemonade, and one with just water. After one week, she measured how high they had grown. Can you identify the dependent variable? The dependent variable is height of beans. Why? Because height is to be measured in order to identify the effect of liquids watered on it. If the dependent variable is height of beans, what do you think is the independent variable? The independent variable is type of liquid. Why? Because the type of liquid is manipulated. Different types of liquid like Coca-Cola, lemonade, and water are used in order to see the effect of types of liquid on the height of beans. So the type of liquid is the cause of the growth of the beans. Now, can you identify the control variable? Again, control variables are variables that are constant and does not change in the study. So one of the control variables is amount of liquid. For instance, you water the beans with 50 ml of Coca-Cola, another group of beans with 50 ml of lemonade, and another group of beans with 50 ml of just water. So 50 ml is the same to all the groups of beans. So amount of liquid is the control variable. Another control variable is age of beans. Okay, the beans that you use in your experiment should be the same. For instance, all should be one month old. And let's have example two. Taylor wanted to see if eating apples would help her do better on her classwork. The first day, she didn't eat any apples. On day two, she ate one apple. On day three, she ate two apples. And on day four, she ate three apples. Each day, she recorded the test score she got on her science work. Can you identify the dependent variable? The dependent variable is test score. You're right. Why? Because test score is a variable that is tested and measured based on the number of apples eaten. If Taylor eats one apple, what is his score? How about if two apples are eaten, what is his score? So in short, if more apples are eaten, then will he get better scores? So test score here is our dependent variable. Now, what do you think is the independent variable? The independent variable is the amount or number of apples eaten. Why? Because the amount of apple is manipulated, like one apple on the second day, two apples on the third day, and three apples on the fourth day. So apple is the cause of the increase or decrease of Tyler's test scores. Hence, Apple is the independent variable. Now, let us identify the control variables. The control variables here, one would be the size of an apple. So, meaning it, the size should be the same from day one up to day four. So, for instance, if it is small, so all the apples that should be eaten by Tyler should be small. So it is constant from day one up to day four. Another con constant variable here is the kind of apple. No? So if on day one, Taylor eats a Fuji apple, 
So Fuji apple should be eaten from day one up to day four. Another constant variable here is the time of eating apple. So for instance, breakfast. So on day one up to day four, the apple should be eaten during breakfast. So in that case, all of these now are control variables or constant variables. So it is the same from day one up to day four. This time, let us discuss the difference between control group and experimental group. So what is the difference between the two? Control group is a group in an experiment that does not receive the variable you are testing, while experimental group is a group in an experiment that receives the variable that you are testing. Let's have an example. You want to find out if microwave popcorn actually pops better if it is stored in the refrigerator. You have two bags of popcorn, so you keep one in the cabinet and place the other in the refrigerator. The next day, you pop each bag of popcorn for the same amount of time in the microwave. You measure the amount of popcorn that popped in each bag to see which bag produced more. Okay, so in this scenario, there are two groups of popcorn. One group is the one that is stored inside the cabinet, and another group is a popcorn that is stored in the refrigerator. So which do you think of these two groups is the control group? The control group in this scenario is the popcorn that is stored in the cabinet. Why? Because you just want to find out if microwave popcorn actually pops better if it is stored in the refrigerator. So this is now your experimental group, popcorn that is stored in the refrigerator. In order to see the effect of the popcorn that is stored in the refrigerator, so you just do another group, and that is the popcorn that is stored in the cabinet. So this serves as your control group. Do not confuse yourself. Control group is different from control variable. In our example while ago, our control group is the popcorn that is stored in the cabinet. Our control variable or variables here, one would be the weight of popcorn. So the weight of popcorn should be the same to both popcorn that is stored in the cabinet and the popcorn that is stored in the refrigerator. For example, 50 grams to both groups. Another control variable here would be the brand of popcorn. So meaning the brand of popcorn that is stored in the cabinet should also be the same with the brand of popcorn that is stored inside the refrigerator. That's why they are called control variables or constant variable. Activity time. Get any sheet of paper and a ball pen and answer this activity. Directions. Read the situation below, then match column A with column B. Write only the letter. Michael wanted to see what kitchen cleaner worked best for cleaning his counters. He used Lysol, Clorox, Pine Sol, and just water. For each cleaner, he put 5 milliliters of grape juice on the counter. He sprayed the cleaner and wiped it with one paper towel. Can you identify the independent variable? Answer, letter A, types of kitchen cleaner. Number two, what is the dependent variable? A, B, C, D, or E? Answer, letter C, counters. Number three, what is the control variable? A, B, C, D, or E? Answer, Letter B, 5 milliliters of grape juice. Number four, what is the control group? A, B, C, D, or E? Answer, letter D, just water. Number five, what is the experimental group? Answer, letter E, Lysol, Clorox, and Pine Sol. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch more videos. For more information, you may visit these references. Credit is also given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day.